Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, August 12th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, told you about this a couple of days ago. We won't bore you with the whole story about how I first learned about Doc Sports way back in the 1970s, late 1970s. But I will tell you this, as a young man growing up and finding out more and more about betting and, and, and different information that would help me with my sports betting, Doc Sports Journal uh, was about as good as it got with the information that I was looking for and it's still available. 48th annual edition of the Doc Sports Betting Journal uh, has been released. It's 160 pages of how-to information, stat results, all that kind of good stuff to help you be a better handicapper. And uh, it's available right now, 48th annual, man. Things don't last that long, half a century, unless they can stand that test of time and prove their worth, and Doc Sports sure has. So listen, you're going to get stuff like valuable weekly betting trends, you're gonna get unique betting advice, you're gonna get complete NFL and college team information, 2018 complete college football stats, that's every game played last season, essential stats section, free shipping, only 11 bucks, 160 pages of the Doc Sports betting journal for the college football into the NFL season. Again, it's available right now. Told you all about it a couple of days ago. Google search Doc Sports Journal and the first result will be the order page. Again, Doc Sports uh, Journal, you can uh, Google search that or you can go to the homepage of DocSports.com and check out the link on how to order it. But again, 160 pages of great information, statistics, betting trends, how-tos for college football and the NFL. And again, this is the 48th year that this book has been published by Doc Sports. Proud to be a part of it over the last year and a half, and I've been watching it and grabbing it and buying it ever since the mid 1970s, believe it or not, when I was a little kid growing up in Omaha. Enough about that, we talked all about that the other day. Let's talk about what we did over the weekend and what's coming up. First of all, Sunday, a great day as we cashed in Major League Baseball, easy 10 to two winner with the KC Royals. They only had about a buck 20 when we got involved with that one. We cashed again in NASCAR, a seven unit play yesterday Yesterday, for those of you who jumped on board, we do appreciate those of you who did so. Uh, but we cashed with Kevin Harvick over Martin Truex Jr. Harvick, in fact, went on to get the win at Michigan International. And uh, we are now 12 and 3 with our last 15 NASCAR plays going all the way back to early May, three months running, up over $4,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Also, we've hit five in a row in NASCAR. We'll aim for number six next week. You can get those picks. This this week, it'll be on Friday night by 11 p.m. Pacific time because the Monster Cup race takes place on Saturday at Bristol. And again, we'll have those plays available, available for you uh, by Friday night rather than Saturday night this week with the race going on Saturday. We'll look to make it 13 and three over the last three plus months in NASCAR. Overall, this week, last Sunday through last night, eight days, 15 and four all sports run. We picked up about $4,800, a little bit more than that for $100 per year unit players that included a six and one week in baseball in fact we were a half inning away from a perfect seven and oh week in baseball that was friday night we had the nats and they led the mets going to the bottom of the ninth by a six to three score couldn't hang on but we bounced back and swept the weekend again including yesterday's win with the royals six and one this past week in baseball and that's where we've got our play for monday just one play on monday wnba is off until tuesday and uh, of course nfl preseason week two will be posted on thursday Thursday afternoon along with my CFL but we do have a Monday mismatch in Major League Baseball we look to make it three straight uh, Saturday one Sunday one gonna look to win on Monday look to go to seven and one with our last eight baseball plays which would put us up over two thousand dollars for one hundred dollar per unit betters the baseball play the Monday mismatch the side for Monday will be available at 11 30 a.m. Eastern 8 30 a.m. Pacific time don't miss out on that as I mentioned NFL preseason we swept week one at DocSports.com with our premium picks. We had another winner in the CFL. Man, just red hot. 67% this season in the CFL. And again, both football uh, leagues, CFL and NFL, will be available on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. More on that as we get closer uh, to uh, Thursday. 
Free pick, uh, just a quick note, we will be back on Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, and that's what I have my next college football over under wins play for you on that video, along with the free pick from Tuesday's card. Free pick for Monday is the total between the Pirates and the Angels. And listen, we got another shot to watch a team maybe pile up some runs on Mitch Keller. You'll remember if you follow baseball closely, Keller came up in uh, June, had three starts with the Bucks, was pathetic, especially in his two starts on the road. Overall, he gave up 14 earned runs on 12 innings, 27 base runners in those 12 innings is what he allowed. Now he's back up part two for Mitch Keller. And the fact that he's got to go up against this offense, which has averaged 5.8 runs per game in a home night action against righties. And by the way, playing nearly 600 baseball in home night action against righties on the season, I think is going to be too tough of a task for Keller. And I think the Angels are going to be able to put up seven, eight runs in this game. They found their offense over the weekend uh, at Fenway. And I think they go get it, keep it going tonight. At least they get just what the doctor ordered with that attempt to keep that offense going as they return home on Monday. At the same time, it's going to be Suarez for the Halos. Listen, he'll probably go about five innings. Uh, the Pirates in road games against lefties average about four, a little bit more than four runs per game. I think they can get there. I think all we need out of them is three or four runs to help put this one over the posted total. At the most, three or four runs. I mean, the total's nine and a half, and the way I power rate pitchers and offenses and all that kind of good stuff, I actually make the total ten and a half. It opened ten and some spots offshore came down to nine and a half. I think we get three runs out of the Pirates. This goes over that total of nine and a half. So there you go. I think the Angels plate seven in this one against Mitch Keller and the Pirate uh, backup, uh, Pirate bullpen. So as far as I'm concerned, we're looking at an over nine and a half between the Pirates and the Angels. The game in Anaheim, it goes a little bit after 10 p.m. Eastern on Monday night. Again, your free pick over between the Pirates and the Angels. Don't forget about our loan, our one premium and pick on Monday. Big Monday mismatch in Major League Baseball at DocSports.com. We'd like to go to 7-1 and one the last nine days in Major League Baseball. All right, that's going to do it for us for today. Again, we'll be back here on Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. I do appreciate those who have subscribed. If you haven't yet, be sure to do so so you don't miss any videos. And we do appreciate those who have clicked on the like below this video. If you like the videos, click on the like button. Why not? All right, listen, guys, we appreciate you guys watching each and every day. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday morning.